You know, for those of you that have been feeling like you don't matter, let me just give you a little picture of what the devil thinks. Let me show you what the enemy sees when he sees you praying like y'all have been praying. Let me just give you a little picture. Show my picture up. I sent you to put up today. That's what the devil sees. Come on. That's what the devil sees when he looks at you. Come on, just leave her up there just a minute. Yeah. You think you don't matter. Let me tell you about her just a minute. The truth is, I saw this on Fox News and pulled this picture off Fox. And here's why. Because when the war in Ukraine first broke out, This is an actual picture of a Ukrainian grandmother. When everybody else was leaving, made the decision, I am staying myself and I'm going to fight for the sake of my, she said, my children and my grandchildren. And in the far right corner, you see her down there in training. See her standing next to all those men, and there's the little grandmother. Now, here's the deal. In the natural, if, if, if a Russian soldier looked at her, there is nothing to be concerned about if you looked at her in the natural. That little old grandmother right there, I, I believe she was close to 80. And here she is. There's nothing that's going to be concerning whatsoever. It's not the natural that makes her concerning. It's that AK-47 she's holding in her hand that'll make a Russian soldier tremble. Come on. And that's, yeah, she's not the issue. It's what she's holding in her hand. That's the issue. Do you understand? And it's the resolve in her heart. It's the love she's got for her family that's driving her. That's what makes the enemy tremble. That's why, come on, that's why 2 Corinthians of 3, 10, or something like that, 10, 3, 10, 3 says, for the weapons of our warfare. Come on. No, no, no. Let me quote the whole thing. He says, we're not fighting flesh and blood. No, we're not fighting with flesh and blood. Thank you, Holy Ghost. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. You can take the picture down. In fact, I'm going to go on and just read that again. I I feel that when I'm saying it. No, 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 no. Listen. Yes, 2 Corinthians 10, in in verse 3. This is this is the new living. Listen to this. We are human, but we don't wage war as humans do. I love this. We use God's mighty weapons. Stuff like slingshots and shofars with lanterns. Worship in the front. Come on. We use God's mighty weapons. Not worldly weapons, I'm reading. Watch this. To knock down the strongholds of human reasoning. You dealing with somebody that's just got that wall of human reasoning that's somebody that you're praying for. Maybe it's a prodigal child. Maybe it's a husband or a spouse. You dealing with somebody that's just, they've been so affected by this culture that their thinking is all blinded and their thinking is all warped. They are, you've got the weapon to bring it down. It says, you've got the, to knock down the stronghold of human reasoning. Don't try to reason with those people. If you're, in, if you're talking to those kind of people, so maybe it's somebody you love. Maybe it's a child. You're trying to speak truth to them. They can't hear you. And if you can tell they can't hear you, don't keep on, honey, because you've got this, they've got this grid of deception over their mind, and you can't reason. If you can't reason with them, you're dealing with the de- influence of a demonic spirit. You can never reason with a demonic spirit, ever. You don't deal with it that way. Come on, when you can tell you're hitting the wall and you've got, you've got, you've hitting that stronghold, that grid in their mind, don't keep on because it'll just wear you out, make you think you're crazy. So you just shut down the conversation. You go to your prayer closet. You pull out your mighty weapons and you start bringing down some stronghold with the word of God, the power of the blood, the power of the name, the power of the word. That's your weapon. Knock down the strongholds of human reasoning. I love this. And we destroy false arguments. I'm reading the Bible. We destroy false arguments. That's what it says. Not in the flesh. With our weapons. The name, the blood, the word. Come on, we can just keep on. The faith, come on. 
How many of you are believing for the return of a prodigal? Raise up your hand and look at you. You've got prodigals you're believing for. I'm looking. I'm looking. All right. I wanted to know you were here. Don't accept where they are as okay. Don't accept where they are. No, you've got everything you need in prayer right here to deal with this issue. You don't have to argue with them, fight with them. You don't do that. You deal with it in the spirit right here. You take your weapons and you knock down a stronghold. You destroy the lies of the enemy. You destroy that lie that's stealing their identity and making them live a life that is so perverted. The enemy set out to destroy them. Watch. I love this one. We destroy. Who does? We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. That's amazing. Here's your loved one over there, the one you're praying for. And between them and God, maybe it's a wrong relationship they're in. Maybe it's voices of influence of our culture. Whatever it's coming from, it's an obstacle that's keeping them from knowing God. How do you deal with that? You just start declaring, you look at them and you just start declaring the word. Start declaring the word of God. And while you declare the word of God and the will of God to them, God's going to deal with that obstacle. God can, God's the only one that can move the obstacle. You got to remember who you are. You got to remember what's in you. Come on. The stronger one in you. The stronger one in you. That's it. He's, I love it. I love, I love in Luke, the 11th chapter. I, this says, this recently exploded to me when I saw it carried out at first hand. It says this, when a strong man like Satan guards his palace, okay? Guards his palace. Let me find somebody. Give me one of these kids. I'll just be somebody. Help me, help me illustrate this. All right, I'll take you. Okay. He's going to represent your prodigal that you're praying for. And I'm on. When a strong man like Satan guards his palace, in other words, the enemy has him in captivity. Okay. When a strong, I'm, these are Jesus' words, by the way. They're in red. When a strong man like Satan, Jesus acknowledges, strong. Strong man like Satan guards his palace. His possessions are safe until someone stronger. Until someone stronger. Until someone stronger. Until someone stronger. Oh, until someone stronger attacks him, strips him of his weapons, and carries off his belongings. Come on. That's what Jesus does. Come on. That's what prayer does. Just go back and stand right there, son. Your child, your prodigal is in bondage. He's in captivity. Satan thinks he's got him. Now, where is the stronger one? Greater is he that's... Here's the stronger one. You're the conduit. You're the one he's getting through on the earth. He's already come from heaven once. He's not coming back in the flesh. He's got to get through you. Come on. The enemy's got him and he thinks the, the enemy thinks he's safe until you walk up. You don't even have to preach to him. No, you don't even, you don't, if, here's your child that come over for, they come over for Thanksgiving. All you got to do before they get there, you've been such, you've been in such prayer, your house is saturated in God. You don't even have to plan to, all you've got to do, all you've got to do is just be in the room. That's all. Because you, you're carrying the greater one inside of your spirit. You can just be in the kitchen stirring your mashed potatoes, but the greater one is in you working to strip the enemy and just carry off. Come on. This is you someday. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, son.